Manchester United's secret reason for refusing to sign Ivan Tony revealed. Manchester United were among the clubs linked with Ivan Tony in the summer transfer window, but it's emerged they passed on a move for the ex-Brentford man for one big reason. Manchester United passed on a deal for Ivan Tony in the transfer window because they weren't satisfied with his pressing. The Red Devils headed into the summer with a new forward at the top of their wish list. They were linked with a host of strikers before settling on Joshua Xerxy, who arrived in a £36 million deal from Bologna back in July. They were among a number of clubs who were credited with an interest in Tony, 28, both before and after Xerxes' arrival as the England star sought a transfer elsewhere. But United had concerns over a move. Tony didn't make United's final shortlist in their search for a striker to support Rasmus Hoyland, although he was considered initially. As outlined by ESPN, Tony simply didn't fit the profile for striker that Ten Hag was looking for due to the fact that, in the eyes of the United boss, he does not press defenders energetically enough. Tony was linked with numerous top Premier League clubs before the summer, including Arsenal and Chelsea. Neither, though, attempted to sign him from Brentford prior to last month's deadline. The Bees were always expecting to sell their prized asset given he had entered the final year of his contract, and Tony was subsequently sold to Saudi Pro League outfit Al Ahli. As the summer transfer window opened, Manchester United found themselves in a familiar position, seeking a new forward to bolster their attacking options. The Red Devils had a clear priority on their wish list, aiming to secure a striker capable of making an immediate impact. Among the names floated in the media, Ivan Tony stood out as a potential game-changer. However, as the window closed, it became evident that United had opted for Joshua Xerxy, who arrived from Bologna for £36 million, leaving fans and pundits alike questioning the decision to pass on Tony. The decision-making process within Old Trafford was influenced by a combination of factors, primarily rooted in the club's long-term strategy and immediate needs. Sources close to the club have revealed that Manchester United's management had genuine interest in Tony's abilities, particularly his impressive goal-scoring record and physical presence on the pitch. Tony had proven himself as a prolific striker in the Premier League with Brentford, showcasing his knack for finding the back of the net and his capacity to hold up play. However, as the discussions progressed, it became clear that concerns surrounding Tony's recent injury history weighed heavily on the club's decision. The striker had faced fitness issues that raised alarms among the coaching staff and the medical team. With United eager to build a squad capable of competing for titles, they prioritized players who could guarantee not only quality, but also reliability throughout the season. While Tony is undoubtedly a talented player, we have to consider the risks involved, a club insider explained. Injuries can derail a season, and we want to ensure our investment is sound and sustainable. This cautious approach reflects a broader trend within the club, where the focus has shifted towards long-term planning rather than short-term fixes. In contrast, the decision to pursue Xerxy was influenced by a combination of factors that aligned with Eric Ten Hag's tactical vision. The Dutch manager has emphasized a style of play that demands versatility, mobility, and technical ability from his forwards. Zerk Z, who had impressed during his time in Italy, offers a unique skill set that complements Ten Hag's system. His ability to link up play, make intelligent runs, and contribute defensively made him a more attractive option in the eyes of the coaching staff. Moreover, Ten Hag has been keen on fostering a squad that can adapt to various game scenarios. Xerxes' experience in different attacking roles, combined with his youth and potential for growth, fits seamlessly into that vision. We're looking for a player who can grow with the team and fit into our style, noted a source within the club. The decision also reflects United's broader strategy to invest in younger talent who can develop within the club's framework. Zerk Z, still in the early stages of his career, represents a player who can mature alongside the team and contribute to its evolution. 
In contrast, while Tony is certainly a capable forward, the club's focus on youth and adaptability ultimately led them to seek a different solution. As the new season approaches, fans are eager to see how Xerxes will integrate into the squad. The forward's ability to adapt to Ten Hag's system will be closely monitored, especially as the team looks to build momentum early in the campaign. Meanwhile, Eric Ten Hag could unleash Manchester United upgrade Kabi Mainu will love versus FC Twente. Manchester United manager Eric Ten Hag could deploy a new look midfield for the first time versus FC Twente. With the length of Manchester United's injury list decreasing, the selection dilemmas Eric Ten Hag is facing are becoming all the more frequent. Following the returns of Mason Mount and Rasmus Hodgelund to the matchday squad against Crystal Palace on Saturday, United's injury list now stands at just four players, making it the shortest it has been for some time. As big a positive as that is for Ten Hag, it does make the challenge of choosing his starting eleven all the more complicated. Nevertheless, it is a puzzle he will only be too happy to have. Ahead of tonight's Europa League opener against FC Twente at Old Trafford, it could be argued that only the defense will pick itself. Matthijs De Ligt and Lisandro Martinez have formed a solid bond in the heart of the back four, and Nusser Mazraoui and Diogo Dalo are currently the only senior fullbacks available. In midfield, however, Ten Hag is spoilt for choice with up to seven players probably all of the opinion they are worthy of a starting berth. The Dutchman has named the exact same midfield trio for United's last two league games, but decided to mix it up for last week's 7-0 win over Barnsley in the Carabao Cup. Either side of that demolition, Ten Hag deployed Christian Eriksen, Kabi Mainu, and Bruno Fernandes as a trio for the Premier League tussles with Southampton and Crystal Palace. It means Manuel Ugarte is yet to make his full league debut for the club. The Uruguayans' only start for United so far was in the aforementioned victory over Barnsley, in which he joined forces with Casemiro and Eriksen in the middle. In the long run, it is expected he will be drafted into United's first-choice midfield alongside Menu and Fernandez. On paper, a trio of Ugarte, Menu, and Fernandez offers a blend of defensive nows, aggression, control, and creativity, with the former providing a much-needed sense of steel and grit in the engine room. Casemiro was previously United's destroyer-in-chief, but his sharp decline left the club with no choice but to turn to Ugarte in the summer. As mentioned, it is expected Ugarte will eventually be embedded within United's first-choice midfield and join forces with Maynou and Fernandez. Maynou has become a staple in Ten Hag's thinking since making his first-team breakthrough last year and has gradually established himself as a forward-thinking, progressive midfielder, meaning he needs someone alongside him who will hold their position and provide a layer of protection. Despite Maynou openly admitting Paul Scholes would have been his dream midfield partner, a source told the Manchester Evening News earlier this year that the England international loves to play with Casemiro because his defensive discipline allows him to express himself and get up the pitch. Ugarty, of course, has been brought to Old Trafford to succeed Casemiro. Ugarty's hunger for a tackle and to win the ball back means he could prove to be Maynou's ideal partner. So far, the duo are yet to start alongside each other, with Maynou playing no part in the recent triumph over Barnsley. However, that could all change this evening, of course. To combat the number of games United are having to deal with, Ten Hag is likely to rotate his pack in places, but he will also, sooner rather than later, want to experiment with what could soon become his first-choice midfield. With Maynou having not had the license to get on the ball and progress up the pitch in recent months because of complex issues in midfield, Ugarte could provide him with exactly what he has been missing. Eric Ten Hag could unleash a tactical upgrade in Manchester United's lineup that young Kabi Maynou will thrive in during their upcoming match against FC 20. With Maynou's impressive performances in training and his ability to adapt quickly, Ten Hag sees him as a key player for this fixture. 
Maynu's style complements the fluid, possession-based approach Ten Hag has instilled in the team. Known for his vision and passing ability, the young midfielder can seamlessly fit into a more dynamic role, providing both defensive support and offensive creativity. Fans and pundits are excited about the prospect of seeing Mainu feature prominently, especially given his potential to influence the game from the midfield. He's shown incredible maturity for his age, Ten Hag noted in a press conference. Kabi has the skill set to make an impact, and we believe he can help control the tempo against FC Twente. With Mainu likely to be given the opportunity to shine, many are eager to see how he can elevate the team's performance and further establish himself as a rising star at Manchester United.